Hey guys, happy Thursday to you. We're already halfway through the week and we're gonna get into our Thursday workout with a 15 minute AMRAP, so as many reps as possible. And we're gonna call this one bend and snap. Um, so you're gonna do 15 minute AMRAP means it's a longer workout, okay? So when we go through this, you're just gonna finish through your double unders and then we're gonna repeat everything we did prior. So you need to find a pace that you can maintain for the entire 15 minutes, okay? So. Uh, 16 alternating goblet step ups. That is a slower movement. So you're just going to kind of move through that. That's going to be one step up is one and then alternate each time with the different leg. So each leg is one rep. And then we're going to do kettlebell snatch. Then we're going to do eight per arm. So you kind of your preference. We would normally like you to do all eight on one side, then switch. Today though, we'll allow you to potentially do one and switch each time. That'll also be okay. Um, I would probably suggest that so you give yourself a little bit of rest each time and it works on your transitions and it slows you down just a little bit. And then we're going to move into 12 toes to bar and finish off with 50 double unders. So for our, gob for our weight on the goblet squats and the snatch, we're talking performance for the guys is 70, 53 for the ladies and at the height at 24 for the guys and 20 for the ladies. For fitness today, we're going to be doing the 53 for the guys, 35 for the ladies and then 24 and 20 on this height. Masters and teens, guys are doing 35. Ladies, we're doing 25. Same height, 24 and 20. So we want this to be a little bit of a taller movement today. Give yourself a little bit of a, uh, like a little bit harder of a movement. So make it a little bit more difficult for you. And then wellness, we want you to do kettlebell, weight of choice. Make it hard, okay? Something that you know that you can do the entire time. Uh, you can sub out penguin taps for our double unders. So that's gonna work on our timing. So when you jump, we're gonna wanna tap our side twice with our hands. A lot of times I see people when we do this movement, we jump and they bring their hands way out. Just keep your hands right here and then you jump and you just tap the hands. We don't need to incorporate the whole arm into that because when we do double unders, you're only using the wrist and we're keeping them right here anyways. So if we're bringing the hands way out, we're not really being effective in timing because then my hands are way out here and by the time I tap my hands, I'm already coming back down, which is not what we want. In a double under, we want to jump then spin. So it's jump spin right away. Okay, so we want to get our timing down. So making sure you do the penguin taps correctly. And also when you do the penguin taps, I see a lot of times we jump and then we stop. If I had a jump rope, that's going to teach me to land and hit the front. So making sure that we can bound and stay bouncy on your feet is going to be important. Okay, so it's teaching you to do your double under. So making sure you're doing those correctly. Unweighted step ups you can do or very lightweight and then hanging leg raises will be fine. Okay, if you've got a shoulder injury for the toes to bar, you can also do the leg raises off the ground to touch a target. Uh, kettlebell snatch. If you're having a shoulder injury, we can do Russian kettlebell swings. Okay, it's shoulder height. That'll be one way we can also do it. Uh, we have a couple things on our brief today we're gonna talk about. Remember July 19th, this Sunday, is our acupuncture clinic. We've got about four spots left on that, so that's gonna be with Heather. Uh, went over super well last time, so make sure you guys get in on that if you're interested in some self-healing. Uh, some of the things that we want to make sure we just constantly reiterate, right? We've been talking about cleaning and how you guys are doing awesome and helping us there. Make sure we're washing our hands upon entry of the gym. That is something we're asking you guys to do. So whatever you're touching or coming from outside, you don't bring it into the gym. I know we are doing an awesome job at cleaning, but at least use the hand sanitizers. We have them on the cart here. We have them in the uh, lounge. So when you're in there, hand sanitizer or preferably wash your hands and then hand sanitizer. We have the hand sanitizer everywhere. We even have the little spray bottles you can spray on your hands and wash. Um, we are now effectively allowing kids into the gym. So we have a lot of parents who normally used to bring their kids to the gym and we had the kid area. Um, and then because we got rid of the kid area and we weren't re allowing kids, it's kind of restricted some people's ability to get into the gym because they always have to find someone to watch their kids. If your kid is well behaved and can sit off to the side, uh, make sure you bring them something to do, so toys or the iPad. They can log now onto the guest network of the internet. Um, they can sit off to the side, out of the way, and quiet. They're allowed to be in the gym. Okay, it is nice outside, so they can sit out in the garage area too if you bring a chair or whatever. That is allowed too, but they can be in the gym. No jumping or playing on equipment, even if, the equi if class is not in session, because if they go on the rings or they start touching it, you got to clean it. Okay, so even if they touch stuff, so making sure they're not on the equipment, but it is allowed now, so you can feel free to bring your kids. And then remember Monday, this coming Monday and Tuesday, actually, uh, he just confirmed he wants to do two days. We're gonna have True Local. It's a local meat company. They source the meat from local farms, and then uh, it's basically farm to table. So they'll ship 
fresh meats to you, uh, he's gonna come out and do some food tasting on Monday and Tuesday in the gym. So we're super excited for that, okay? All right, guys, get, have fun with this one. Treat it as a flow session if you need to. If you're really, really sore, you can also just treat this as a flow. Uh, but we'll see you Friday.